I was a um, education major. Um, it was anatomy and physiology class. Um, the instructor went about like everything was fine that day, um, but you could s you could sense that there was just an eeriness of um, what was going on in the world. Um, this thought that um, our country had possibly been under attack when I think more reports had came out that day. And that kind of carried on each and every class of, um, and once we found more and more information, uh, a lot of the faculty members, a lot of the instructors just wanted to tune in to see um, what was going on. And um, had had, you know, a lot of the things that we typically would do um, that day on campus were canceled or kind of put off so um, we could reflect and think about uh, essentially what was going on um, in our world. So remember that day is like it was yesterday almost and it's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, it has been, um, you know, 14 years since, since it's happened, so it's crazy. I remember it because my first grade teacher lived across the street from me. And so uh, I think I came home and it was just hectic. Everyone was, uh, like I didn't know what was going on. I was too young to really know what happened at the time. But like over the years after it happened, I started realizing where I was and like, what happened. And everyone was just going crazy. Like they were playing it in school like, at an elementary school too, which is They were talking strange. to the elementary yeah, like the news. We had, had all the teachers had the news on the TV. We were all just watching the news, but I don't think any of the kids were. Really I was working for Mansfield ISD. I was a tech assistant, so I would go from school to school. That morning, I heard about a plane crashing into a building. I was thinking a small propeller jet, and when I got to one of the schools. Uh, it was not quite 9 o'clock yet, which was about 8 o'clock time in New York. And we saw the second plane hit while we were watching it on TV. I was at an elementary school with the staff when they were watching it. I did not realize until that hit that it was an airline jet. My husband works for American and I kept thinking there is no way an American pilot would do that intentionally. Something happened. Something's wrong. I think what I hated the most about it was I kept showing the plane hitting the building. And by the time you realize what was going on, you just got that feeling of despair all day. Listening for the news, seeing what's happened. And it was just really sad. I was in second grade, we had a big TV in our classroom. I remember I remember our teach we I had like two different teachers. I remember our teachers just coming in and saying like um, that they were, because I was, I'm not from New York City, but just New York City in general, I think that was kind of across the board. Um, they came in and said that our parents were going to become get us from school because something had happened. And they did turn on the TV and like let us watch the coverage of it, but they didn't really explain anything. Um, so when I got home, my grandma came and picked me up. I got home and I watched it and it was kind of just something I didn't really understand until much later, but I will say being from New York that it did kind of, when I got a little older, hit closer to home when I actually visited New York City and like saw where the Twin Towers were, it was a much more emotional experience knowing that that was like in such close proximity to like where I grew up.